the dishes from yesterday afternoon still here? But didn't we ask them to clear this up last night? Evidently, they didn't. I'm sure they are expecting us to come and do the dishes before going to work. Well, that is not going to happen. They do nothing in this house and that's because you end up doing all the chores. Well, that was before. I have a business to run now and I cannot continue to play mommy duties to some lazy grown-up babies. They need to clear this. What is this now? What is this? Wake up, wake up, sleepy heads. Hey, why would you do that? Why are the dirty dishes from last night still in the sink? I told Agnes to wash them. You told who? Didn't I tell you I wouldn't? When last did you do something in this house? That must be two days ago. And what did you do two days ago? I gave you money to restock the kitchen with food stuff. So I've become your place washing maid because you give me money. Listen, both of you, Chi Chi and I are going to work. When I come back, I want those plates cleared. If it's not, I myself don't even know what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely sure you won't like it. What are you doing? My sleep was interrupted. I'm not fully awake yet. My friend, will you stand up? Come on, stand up! What were you doing waiting outside my office so early in the morning? Ah, but Chichi, I called you now and I told you I was coming to see you. Yes, you did, but you just didn't say it was going to be this early. It's really important. I need to talk to you about something. Must be very important. Okay, what's the problem? So, I was going through your posts and pictures on social media. Okay. And I I saw that your business has been booming of late. Well, it's been good. I made it mandatory for my company to plan at least four events every month. And so far, it's been working. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm impressed. Thank you. Well, while I was thinking about my life yesterday, I came to a decision that um, it would be best that I join your company. Huh? Yes. I've been job hunting in Lagos for months now to no avail. Ha! Wouldn't it be better I join your event planning team? Daniel, I don't have any permanent staff on salary. All my staff are on commission. I don't mind. You can put me on commission. No. Daniel, this can't work. You can't work for me. I am not asking to work for you, Chi Chi. I want to work with him. Hmm? Hey, hey. You wash while I rinse. It's your brain paining you. What's the meaning of a wash and rinse? Oh, you want me to do everything? There's nothing like everything here. You are doing the damn dishes. Wait, why can't you do it if it's that simple? Agnes, mm. why not me so? Yeah. Because I let you call me by name. You're supposed to call me Auntie or Madam Blessing. Oh, well. Where I come from, age is nothing but a number. And seniority is about who has more money. And I'm sure you know who that is between you and Agnes, I. I will beat you if you push me ah! to the wall. Now, will you do the dishes or not? Yes, Auntie, Madam Blessing. I think because you have money gives you the right to be disrespectful. My friend, do the dishes. But you don't even know anything about event planning. Teach me. Ah. You know me fast, Lena. Daniel, it, this, it won't work. I'm, I'm, I feel very uncomfortable about it. Why? So, Chichi, you rather that I keep trekking under the sun, job hunting? Eh? Daniel, that you know me as your girlfriend doesn't mean you have any idea what I can be like as your boss. I can be very ruthless when it comes to my work. Bring it on, baby. I'm ready to take it all in. Oh. Look, you're building a big empire. 
I want to help you achieve that dream fast. Daniel, Daniel, this won't work. You don't do this to us, Daniel, please. Babe, trust me. This is the best decision. Huh. Okay. <sighs> I'll fix you somewhere. And I will get back to you before the end of the day. That's my baby. Mm. Trust me, you will not regret this. I'm sure I won't. But I can't say the same for you, though. <laughs> Listen, I am going to the spa. Are you busy? No, why do you ask? I want to know if you would like to join me to the spa. Why not? Hmm. I've been feeling pains around my left shoulder, mm -hmm. and I know a thorough massage will cure it. <laughs> Let's go get some massage then. Okay, give me a minute, let me get my bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean Daniel wants to work with you? He just came to my office and started lamenting about how he is tired of job hunting and he would like to join my team. Tell me you said no. Well, I said no at first, but he kept pushing it and I couldn't... I just had to say yes. Chichi, honestly, I don't know about you, but for me, it would feel very awkward if I'd have to employ my boyfriend in a company I own. I know. But he doesn't feel like that. I just hope this won't ruin my relationship. Yeah, I hope so too. <sighs> Agnes, thank you so much. You're such a good friend. Why are you thanking me? I'm just being appreciative, Jay. I know how much a full spa package costs. Yeah, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. But it's not like I'm paying for you or anything. <laughs> of course you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Why should I pay for you? I pay my own bill and you sort yourself out. But you asked me to come with you. Did I say I was going to pay for your spa trip? I assume since you asked me to come with you. Uh oh, you assumed wrongly. You are on your own today. I'm going to stop this joke. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we shall see. Hello, Blessing. Hello, Gina. You won't believe what Agnes is saying she will do to me. Okay, make me believe. Agnes brought me to the spa. She asked me to fill the full spa package, and now she's refusing to pay for it. What did she say she was going to pay before coming to the spa? Yes, she did. So what made her change her mind? I don't know. Is she there with you? Yes. Hello, Gina. Hello, Agnes. What's going on? Nothing. Blessing here assumed that I'm going to pay for her spa treat, and I never promised her that. So, she just said you did? No, I did not. I only asked her if she'd like to follow me to the spa. I never said I was going to pay for her spa treat. Oh, come on, Agnes. You know Blessing is broke and jobless. Yes, I know. So please pay for her. No, I am not going to do that, Gina. She's not my responsibility. Mm. All right, I'll see you when I get home. Take care. <clears throat> Hello? 
lesson. Hi, Chichi. Uh, please, I need a small favor from you. What's up? I need you to send me 50,000 Naira. I'm at the spa and I need to pay for my spa treatment. Are you okay? It's a long story, but I'll explain when I see you. If I slap you, you will have memory loss. So I am at work, racking my brain off and working my behind. And you have the guts to call me and ask for 50,000 Naira for your spa treatment. Come, listen, don't let me swear for you. Agnes brought me to the spa, made me fill the full spa package and now she's refusing to pay for it. Why? I don't know. See, I I'm the wrongest person to call. Call somebody else. I've spoken to Gina already. Well, I think you need to go and look for the manager. Yes. Tell him to give you a job application form and fill it. What? Yes. You have to work for the 50,000 Naira. I'm sure before you, you do massage, manicure, pedicure, skin polish for like uh, 5 to 10 people, you must have settled your bills. Uh-uh. 50,000 Naira. For what? The one you gave me to keep for you. <sighs> Hello. Can I pay my bill, please? Yeah, sure, ma'am. Would you like to pay in cash or would you like to make use of the POS? Yeah, I'll, I'll do a transfer. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. <sighs> Have you paid? Done. Thank you, ma'am. You're not my mate, remember? You'll sort yourself out. Bye. Listen, <laughs> I don't know. How did you guys resolve the spa drama? <laughs> well, I left her at the spa to sort herself out. Why would you take blessing to the spa and not pay for her, knowing her, her financial condition? Well, I needed to teach her a lesson. What stupid lesson are you talking about, Agnes? She threatened to beat me up over the dirty dishes issue. <laughs> And because she is older than I am, I am supposed to call her Auntie Madam Blessing. You didn't have to now. You didn't have to do, do something like this now. That's not fair. Well, she needs to understand that I can also punish her too. Why would you sign up for a full package spa treatment? When you know you don't have the money to pay. How many times will I explain to you that my friend was supposed to pay for but me? But she left already. That's because she's crazy. Okay, look. If you let me go, I will definitely get your money back to you. I'm sorry, ma'am. I won't let you do that. The manager told me not to let you leave until you pay. Hello, Chichi. Hi. Blessing, where are you? I'm still here. They won't let me go. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Chichi, where am I supposed to get 50,000 naira from? Agnes set me up and I don't know why she would do such a thing to me. Well, she said she wanted to teach you a lesson for threatening to beat her up earlier. For not doing the dishes. Chichi, Chichi, please help me beg Agnes. Please, help me tell her I've learned my lesson. Help me beg her. She can hear you. The phone is on loudspeaker. Agnes, Agnes, you have made your point clear. Please. They are beginning to embarrass me here. Wait. Oh, so now you know age is nothing but a number. And money and 
inherit all things, right? Yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, just send your account details. I will transfer the money to you and we can sort them out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know that's the height of wickedness, yeah? <laughs> You're laughing. I just wanted to teach her a lesson. Okay, well done. Are you serious? Yeah. You mean Agnes left Blessing at the spa? I'm telling you. Just because Blessing threatened to beat her up if she doesn't wash the plates. Can you imagine? <laughs> Oshofri has put Blessing in trouble. But that is such an epic revenge. Agnes, you are a savage monster. I swear. I fear you, Agnes. Hmm. Guys, listen. I am not evil. You know, I don't just like it when someone underestimates the power of money. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Wait, but why is Blessing not back from the spa yet since you already sent her money for the spa treat? Hmm. That's true though. Maybe she doesn't have transport fare. And you know, it's a long distance trekking back home. Come on. Uh-uh. You safe. Calm down. <laughs> Like that. Do you know what I went through? Oh! Next time you won't threaten to beat me up like your younger sister. You're yeah, still talking! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. Hold on. At least she eventually sent you the money for the spa tree. What about your embarrassment? You needed to see the way people were looking at me at the spa. She's sorry. She's very sorry. I will say apologize to her. Eh? For what? After I have paid for her spa treatment, I should still apologize again. Just apologize. Just tell her you're sorry. If you want me to apologize, then she should be ready to... Uh, you uh, 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 you know no, 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 please, please. Let me just no. slap. Let me slap. One hot slap, Gina. No. One. No. Okay, let me... Let no! Me. I said no. Blessing. No. Now I will have to go back to bed. Why? You shouldn't be the first person I would see in the morning. And what's that supposed to mean? I'm sure you understand what I mean. Wait, Agnes. Is everyone in your family this rude? Or you are just simply the black sheep in the family? <laughs> Don't let me insult you, Daniel. Don't make me insult you. Why stop now? You're always insulting me. That's because you are shameless and wicked. Only an evil person that is broke will allow a girl love him. You think every girl is a corporate runs babe like you are? What did you just call me? Because it is only a corporate runs babe that will be dating three men at the same time. Chichi! I do not appreciate you discussing me with your wretched boyfriend. Don't you ever talk about my boyfriend in that tone again. And what is so special about you to discuss with Daniel? Oh, are you saying you didn't discuss my business with him? Oh, please, Agnes, you're not that important. Then how then did he know about my relationship if you didn't tell him about it? Because he just called me a corporate wrong girl. What did you say to Daniel before he called you that? <sighs> are you being serious right now? Yes, I'm being very serious because Daniel cannot insult you if he didn't throw the first punch. <laughs> Are you both fighting? Gigi has been telling Daniel about my personal life and now she's defending him for calling me a corporate front girl. That's rude. Why would Daniel say that to you? <laughs> Gigi here told him I'm dating three guys. Why are you acting as if I'm lying? Daniel? Morning, blessing. Morning. How are you doing in our kitchen? 
I just came to make myself um, breakfast. Just something light. You care for some? Sure. So, I hear you plan on joining Chichi at Apex events. I joined already. I'm oh. resuming on Monday. I just basically came for us to talk about, you know, position, mode of conduct, you know, and all that. Wow. Can I advise you? Feel free. Don't do it. Get a job somewhere else. Don't work for Chi Chi. Mm -mm. And why would you say that? Why would you even tell Daniel such thing about Agnes? I didn't tell him so he can think loose of her. Why would you tell him at all? I don't know, we're just discussing and he came up. How would you feel if I tell my boyfriend you're dating a loafer and a parasite? I told you not to ever talk about Daniel in that tone again. Oh, I will talk about him since you two enjoy discussing me. Okay, can we just not let this go overboard? Chi Chi, you have to make amends. You have to change Daniel's perspective of Agnes. How am I supposed to do that? Well, tell him that she broke up with two of them and she is now in a committed, dedicated relationship with one of them. I would be lying if I did that. And we both know I don't like lying. <laughs> Listen, I've worked for Chi Chi before and I had to resign the next day. Why? Let's just say she's the worst boss ever. Well, with Chi Chi, I'm not gonna have a boss subordinate relationship. It will be more of partnership. I'm not working for her. I'm going to be working with her. Phrase it anyhow you want to. Chi Chi as a girlfriend is different from Chi Chi as CEO Apex Events. That's strange. How can one person be two persons at the same time? She could be nice and sweet as her girlfriend, but as your boss, <laughs> she's a monster. Not to worry, I know how to handle her. Kanye, why would you call Agnes a copy trans babe? You needed to have heard what she said to me this morning. She opened the door for me this morning and said, eh, she's sad that I'm the first thing she's seen this morning. Eh, that she has to go back to bed. Can you imagine that? That doesn't mean you have to use what I tell you during our chit-chatting against my friends now. Why are you now talking as if I fight with all your friends? It's Agnes that, that has the problem, not me. Well, you two must not be friends. Just learn to respect each other, that's all. Then tell her that. Well, as regards to joining Apex events, I have decided to make you my event coordinator. <laughs> slash manager, slash anything I want you to be, depending on the situation at hand. Multitaxing, I like that. But you <laughs> will have to be on probation for three months before we can discuss anything about your salary. Then during the probation, you get a commission anytime we handle an event together. I, I don't think I like this probation idea. It's unnecessary now. You don't need to like the idea of my decision. It's my business. My rules. My decision. Take it or leave it. Well, boss lady, I was only expressing my consent. Well, keep your consent to yourself. Daniel, you have to be at work on Monday morning, on or before 8 a.m. Ah. I'm beginning to think blessing was right, though. Right about what? Nothing. You said 8 a.m., right? Fine. I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Okay, let me see you. Thank you for the tea. It's nothing. Hey, so let's go have some fun. Sorry, I invited just you, Gina. I don't understand. Well, Chichi can come with us. Why not? Because I don't want to give you more reason to go badmouth me to your boyfriend. 
I think we've passed that level now. Well, it's easy for you to pass because you are not the one that had your corporate runs girl. Agnes, please grow up. Well, you are the one acting immature by putting your friend's business out for public consumption. Well, ladies, can we just go wash away this misunderstanding with some wine, good food and good music? Well, Chi Chi is not coming in my car and I am definitely not paying for your food and drink. <laughs> Excuse you? I have my own money, so I can pay for my food and my drink. Do I look like blessing to you? What do you mean by do you look like blessing? I was just trying to make a point. By calling me jobless and broke? I didn't say that, did I? Well, that is what I heard. Leave me out of this crossfire. Hmm. Gina, blessing, let's go. Oh, Chi Chi is coming with us, else nobody's going anywhere. Fine, blessing, let's go. Blessing is not going anywhere either. Gina, please, can you just allow them to go? We can go have fun together. No, blessing is not going anywhere. Agnes, you can go ahead and have your fun all alone. Well, well, well. So, Agnes says she's taking us to a Chinese restaurant. And afterwards, we're going to see a movie. And we'll end up in a karaoke bar. What are you girls offering? Is this some sort of beating now? Technically, yes. If you want me to consider you, we have to beat the up on the table. <laughs> Listen, are you coming or not? You know I don't have a problem going to have fun alone. You okay. know that, right? Okay, none of you is going anywhere until you two sort out this issue like a reasonable adult you are. Listen, I already explained to you that I didn't tell Daniel we have three boyfriends just for him to insult you. Well, there are certain things you should keep in our circle and not tell your boyfriend everything, especially since you know he doesn't like me. Agnes, you're the one who hates my boyfriend just because he's not rich like your boyfriend's. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm allergic to poor guys. Agnes, Daniel is not poor I and he's trying all he can to change the situation. Anyways, I'm sorry he called your own girl. Hmm. It's okay. Henceforth, I'll let him be. Finally! See, was that so hard? This is what true friendship is about. We agree, and then we disagree. Please! Can we go out now and have some fun? Like, yeah. yes! <laughs> Hello, Femi. Hi, Gina. I'm sorry about the accident. How are you feeling now? Femi, are you sure you dialed the right number? Is it not Gina? Agnes' friend? Yes. Agnes told me you were involved in an accident yesterday. You told Femi I was involved in an accident and you had to take care of me? Wait, was that Femi on the phone? Yes! That is exactly what I was coming to tell you. Please tell him it's the truth. Please, please, Gina. Please. How can you tell him I had an accident? He wanted me to come spend the weekend with him. And you know I can't do that because Wilson is in town. So he couldn't find any other lie? I don't think of these lies most times. I say the first thing that pop up in my head and find a way to make it acceptable. Please, Gina, please. Agnes, I do not like the fact that you have to use me to tell such horrible, tragic lies. Great, he's calling back. Hello, Femi. Yeah, sorry, it's network. Network is really bad. Yeah, I thought you broke your leg in the accident. Yes, and I'm sorry Agnes had to cancel her appointment with you to take care of me.
Hey, babe. Why are you just coming to work when I specifically told you to be here before 8 a.m.? Oh, it's traffic. Oh. If you see the traffic on my way here, and, and you know my my house is not close to this office. It's very far. Okay. I would have to deduct 5,000 naira from your commission. For what now? For coming one hour late. And any day you come two hours late, I'm going to deduct 10,000 naira from your commission. You can ask my employees when you meet them. Ah. Okay, how much is this my commission even? I don't know. Ah. You don't even know what my commission is yet and you're deducting 5,000 naira from it? Yes. I would like you to go make some bookings for some materials I'll be needing for a wedding next month. Okay. Here's the list and the address of the rental place. Please emphasize on the importance of having everything on that list delivered on the date I discussed with them. That's, that's fine. I'll, I'll do just that. Thank you. I want you to be back in one hour. You know, there's no way I'm going to make it to the island and back in one hour. Why? I've made these trips myself in less than one hour, so I don't see why you can't. How is that even possible? Did you fly on the witch's broom? You just wasted some seconds of your time arguing when you should be on the bike. Here, for your transport. Hi, Gina! <laughs> My surest friend, party of life. That's weird. What do you want, Agnes? Hmm, how's your day going? My day is going well. But I'm sure you didn't call to find out how my day is going, did you? <laughs> Has Femi called you again? No. Why? Um, I'll be going to Wilson's place, and I told Femi that we are at the hospital. So in case he calls you, tell him that we are at the hospital. And what if he says I should hand the phone over to you? You will tell him you are in the ward with the doctor, and I'm in the reception waiting for you. Okay? Agnes, you're becoming such a pathological liar. And it's becoming disturbing. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll call you back later. Look who finally got back. I told you there was no way I was going to make it from the island in one hour. So it took you almost three hours to go to the island and back. Well, I waited for the rental service lady for about 20 minutes and then I Just had to... save yourself the explanation. I'm going to deduct 10,000 naira from your commission, plus the 5,000 naira I deducted earlier, making it 15,000 naira. <laughs> That's a very expensive joke, Sha. <laughs> we will see how funny it is when you finally get 5,000 naira as commission. You know that's impossible. I will need you to go inspect a hotel for me. I want to use their hall and other facilities for a two weeks program I am planning for a company. You want me to do that today? By the way, I, I will send you the address. Yeah. Chichi, how come you didn't mention this earlier now so that I could run both errands at once? 
I got the confirmation while you were out. Then you should have called me the moment you got the confirmation. Why are you asking me all those questions? What is your problem? I am only saying that it would have been a lot more easier if you considered the sun outside when you... Shut up already and do as you're told. talking to me like that, I am still your boyfriend. Doesn't mean I'll have to tolerate any act of insubordination from you as my employee. You are doing this boss lady thing too much and it's terrible. It's just day one and you're lamenting like this. My point exactly. It's just day one and you have poured all the insults that there is on me. You have given me rude instructions, rude orders, like I were your younger brother or something. I still don't get why you followed me home. To get an apology for the way you spoke to me throughout today and even on our way home. Don't even hold your breath in it. Once we're in that office, Daniel, you are no longer my boyfriend. You are my employee and I will treat you as such. Daniel, go home and sleep. Rest. Make sure you get enough rest so you don't come to work late tomorrow. If you come late tomorrow, I shall deduct more money from your commission. Good night. Blessing, you don't need to gloat over it. I know you warned me, but I didn't know it was going to be this bad now. If you want to save your relationship, you cannot work for Chichi. I had to save my friendship with her by quitting my job at Apex Events. Please help me tell her not to expect me tomorrow. I quit. Big favor from you. Why do I feel like saying no to whatever favor you're just about to ask me? Why would you say that when you don't even know what it is about? Because she said big, big favor, and that word big scares me. Listen, I am not asking for your kidney or anything like that. Femi is coming over, and I want you to disturb me in his presence for a 300,000 Naira loan I am yet to pay back. Why would I want to disturb you in his presence? You're not owing me. I know, but I'm broke. And I don't want to ask him for the money, so it doesn't seem like I am too demanding. Okay, wait. Let me get this straight. So you want me to hassle you in his presence for mm -hmm. a fake debt, mm -hmm. and then hope he offers to pay? You are smart. Yes, yes, I know I am smart and that is why I am not going to do that. Come on, Chichi. Agnes, what you need is a job and not some way to scam your boyfriend. It is not a scam. You are actually no different from an internet fraudster and I will not be a part of that, Agnes. <laughs> okay, I will give you a cut from the deal. Are you not listening to what I'm saying? I am not interested. Please, Gina is not feeling fine. And I need to take this cup of tea to her before it gets cold. What's wrong with Gina? I don't know. Don't ask any questions. Isn't it too early for you to wear a frown? <laughs> is it not that chichi girl? I don't know why she likes behaving like a righteous person. What did she do this time? Okay, I'm broke and I have a perfect plan to raise cash with her help, but she refused. Did you ask her to borrow your money? No! I asked her to disturb me for a 300,000 Naira loan in the presence of Femi. Did she loan you 300,000 Naira? No! I wanted her to say she did so that Femi can offer to pay. Why not just ask Femi like you always do? I've done that too many times and I don't want it to look like I'm too demanding. So why did you have to go to Chichi when you and I sleep and wake on the same bed every day? Because you don't look the part. 
Whop out. Oh, you don't look like someone that can loan me 300,000 Naira. You're jobless. Have you forgotten? Well, Femi doesn't know that. Um, I think I must have mentioned it to him. Gina. Hi. Sorry. Gina, you should go to the hospital. No, I'm fine. I just I just need to rest. I hope you've called in sick at work already. Mm-hmm. But if I feel better, I might still go to work. No, don't go anywhere. Stay back at home even if you feel better. You work way too hard and you barely rest. Sit up so you take the tea. Alright, take. It. Sorry. It's hot. I know, sorry, you need it. And how many other people in Lagos have you told I'm jobless? It's not that serious. It is serious. What rubbish. You got upset the last time you found out Chichi told Daniel you were dating three men. Now you're doing the same thing to me. This is different. It's equally harmful to my personality. Why would you girls discuss your friend's lapses with your boyfriend? It's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should be. But wait. It could work. You could actually play that part. Look, you tell Femi that someone gave you the money to keep and you need it back urgently. Hmm? It works, right? Fine. That works for me. Good. How much? H how much for what? For taking a few steps away from heaven's gate towards hell with all the lies I'm about to tell. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll give you 10,000 naira. Out of 300,000. <laughs> Somebody must have mixed gutter water for you to drink. Yeah? Ladies, I'm off to work. Please, Gina is not feeling too well, so you guys need to keep an eye on her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, Blessing. Mm -hmm. Talk to Agnes. She's thinking of scamming Femi of 300,000 naira when she should be looking for a job. A proper job to start earning some legitimate income. Duh. Lesson here has agreed to go with the plan, right? Lesson, is that true? Well, technically, no, because we are still negotiating my fee. I'm done with you guys. Bye. So, bye. Gina, can I make you something to eat? No, but I don't want you making me sicker. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that your cooking is terrible and your food is poison. Don't mind me, Agnes. That was a joke. I'm not hungry. Whatever. <laughs> Blessing, should I confirm you so we can set things in motion? Mm -mm. I can't sell my soul to the devil for just 10,000. It's not that deep, I beg. Babe, because lying comes easy for you doesn't mean I don't have conscience. What is going on? She wants me to help pull a plan that could give her 300,000 naira from Femi. And she wants to pay me a mega 10,000 naira for it. Uh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll give you 20,000. Mm -mm. 50. Eh? 50? 30. 40. And that's the least I'll take. What if he doesn't give me all the money? <laughs> that's none of my business. Blessing, that's not a fair deal. Mm. You don't expect me to give you 40k if he gives me 100,000 eventually. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll take 20% of whatever he gives you. I'll give you 10%. Gina, what do you think? Honestly... I don't want you both fighting, so just 
come to a conclusion and stick to the deal. I'll take 15% of whatever it gives you. Okay, deal. Deal. I'll call you right away. my money. I told you the money does not belong to me. I don't have any money to give you right now. That's not my business. Oh, calm down. I don't have money. money. I don't have money. If I have money, what would I give you? I'll stop embarrassing I'm going my money. I don't have money. Oh, hi. It's here. Um, I heard some voices. Were you ladies fighting? No, we thought it was someone else at the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Juno called in sick, so I thought to use my lunch break and check up on her and also get her some stuff. Aww, that's so thoughtful of you. Okay, I'll let her know you're here. Come on. All right, well, thank you. things generally? Fine. You have a job now? I don't remember telling you I didn't have a job. Oh, well, um, Gina once mentioned to me how hard you've been job hunting. So, the whole world now knows I don't have a job. Wow. Um, I'm so sorry, Brian, but she's asleep and I don't want to wake her up because she really needs rest. I understand. Maybe you could wait for her to wake up or something. Uh, that wouldn't be possible because I have to get back to work. But can I at least just see her? Like, take you to her bedroom? If it's not too much to ask. I mean, seeing her will keep my mind at rest. Uh, okay, come with me. Uh, thank you. admiring the sleeping beauty. I have something very important to take care of. Agnes, I want my money. I'm 
tired of you posting me. Please, give me my money. Listen, can't we talk about this later? You can see I have a guest. I do not care. The owner of the money is already harassing me. Hey, hey. You guys should calm down. Hey. The both of you shouldn't be fighting. Your friends, you shouldn't be fighting over money. Femi, I'm sorry. But the lady has threatened to involve the police if I do not give her back her money. Blessing, I am highly disappointed in you. Mm -hmm. So you want to kill yourself because of ordinary 300,000 Naira? Eh? Are you okay? Hey. That's a lot of money. Mm. What are you using for? Um, baby, it was a business deal that went bad. But I have already told her to give me just some few months and I will raise the cash for I her. I don't have a few months, Agnes. Mm. I do not have a few months. If you do not give me my money, I will seize your phone and hey. every other gadget you have. Hey, hey, you dare not. That's it. You dare not. Watch me. Touch my things and I will slap Come you. Come and slap me. I will slap Come you. Come and slap you. me. Too big for me to slap you. Try me. Shut up. Try me. <laughs> Is this a dream? No, it's not. Uh, I must be dreaming otherwise. Oh, I'm hallucinating. What are you doing in my room? Would you want to pinch me to be sure it's not a dream? It's not a dream. <laughs> I told you. What are you doing here? Why are you in my room? You're awake? Yes, I am awake and wondering what a total stranger is doing inside my room. He's not a stranger, it's Brian. I know it's Brian, duh, but what is he doing here? Uh, I asked if you were sleeping in. Brian, stop, just get out. Chinna, you two, get out. <sighs> I was told you were sick and I just wanted to find out if you were okay, but I... As I can see, you are with your aggressiveness. Bye. Gina, that was very rude and cold. Please get out. Miss <laughs> Femi, he just left. Hey, what happened? Brian left here looking very unhappy. Babe. You needed to see the way Gina chased him like a dog with scrabies. <gasps> Why? I don't know. Hmm. Hey, hmm. How far now? The 15%. Calm down now. He hasn't given me any money or even say how much he will give to me. Why? He said he will see what he can do in a week or two. <gasps> oh, a week or two is foul. Mm. I already have plans for that money. Plans? Mm -hmm. What stupid plans? Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Alright, just try and eat some okay? So you can take your drugs and get better really soon. So, I hear Brian came around today. Yeah, and our stupid friends brought him straight to my room. Can you imagine that? No, well, they told him you were sleeping and they didn't want to wake you up. But he asked to see you before leaving. You make it sound like they were right to bring him to my room. Gina, it's not a question of who is right or wrong. He visited you as a friend and you shouldn't have sent him away like a dog, the way Blessing described. Chichi, I was angry. And we're not even close enough for him to visit me in my room. Like, imagine waking up and there he was, smiling at me. Did you see the permissions he got for you? I saw them. So you didn't think someone who spent his time and money on you deserves some appreciation? I was... Too uncomfortable having him in that room. Yeah. So, how are you? Oh, listen, 
I'm good. Let me tell Agnes you're here. Yeah, so, and I hope you guys are in good terms now. Huh? I mean, I hope she's paid up the money she's owing you. No, she hasn't. You're kidding me. I transferred 200,000 Naira to her that day. And you said she has paid you. Excuse me. Femi is here. Oh, yeah, I've been expecting him. Mm -hmm. So how far now? The money he promised us. Hmm. My sister. Mm. Times are hard everywhere. Mm. His business has been really slow. Hmm. And he said he needs more time to raise the money. So you mean he has not given you any cobble from the 300,000 naira? Not a cobble. Agnes. Mm. Agnes! Aggy baby, thunder from the east, west, north and south will come together and strike you sporadically. God forbid. What is this now? Because you are a liar. Ha -ha. Hey! So you want to tell me Femi has not given you any money at all? Swear that he has not given you 200,000 naira from the money. Who, who I said you? you should swear. Who told you that? Swear. Okay, fine. He gave me 200,000 Naira. But I was waiting to get the 100,000 Naira balance before I'll give you your 15% of the mm. money. Give me my money. Else we'll both go to that living room and explain ourselves to Femi. Eh, hey, you want to blackmail me? You know friends don't blackmail each other. And friends don't cheat each other either. Give me! Else I'll blow your whistle. It's okay. Fine. 